In this next construction, we're going to bisect an angle. This is another classic construction. In order to bisect an angle, what you need to find the find a, a array that splits the angle into two equal parts. I need to first draw out my angle. Okay. And draw angle BAC. There's a point, there's my A, there's my B. And when I get to my point C, I'm going to do it in a certain way because I'm going to use the rhombus to help me. Okay, so the rhombus will actually kind of come out here. Okay, and I need it to come out here so that I can split the angle right through this other vertex from the rhombus. So I'm going to have to construct point C strategically. So I'm going to open up my compass to AB because I need AC to be the same measure, same distance. Okay. So this, my compass helps preserve distances. Okay. So I make a mark here that's the same distance as AB. In that point we're going to do C. Now I need to construct out the point D, which was out here. And I'm going to use the rhombus given aside type construction, where I open up my compass to AB and AC. I place the point of my compass on B, and I make a mark, kind of a, a big general mark out here. So this is all the points that are the same distance from B. But I need the certain one that is the same distance from C, so I put my point on C, and I make a, an intersection mark here from where it was on AB. Okay. So make a mark from B, make a mark from C, and where they intersect will be the same distance. And make that my point D. So I'm gonna draw D down here. Now this is notice that this is the rhombus right here. Okay. But I don't need to draw in these extra vertices because I'm going to just use my ruler and construct the angle bisector from here. It's a ray. So I'll start from A, the vertex, and go out. Okay. And so these two angles right here are the same, exactly the same measure. That's bisecting angle.